Hey guys, this is family no matter what. Um, we hey. got the we got the boys in, or uh, Zeke's in bed and the boys are watching a movie so we figured that we sit down and kind of um, just share with you our story about how we got here so let you get to know us a little bit better and just who we are, what we're about, um, how we got here and why we're doing this. And so um, we just gonna break it down for you and just tell you a little bit about us um, we we were looking for a house and um, our real estate agent um, brought us to this one house it was a 2-2 and at the time we had two, only two kids and um, it was a lot smaller than we had anticipated and we we're like eh. but when we walked in I just like I really just could see nothing but potential. I've always wanted to flip a house. I've always wanted to do like projects and just um, do that kind of, you know, uh, Joanna Gaines, like <laughs> kind of the flipper deal. Yeah, I could see uh, potential. And so we ended up putting a um, an offer on the house and we got it. Well, in... it wasn't that quick. Um, oh yeah. It took... We had looked at this house. I was not thrilled with this house. Mm -mm. Um, it's not what I, I wanted at all. Uh, you were thrilled with the potential. I was thrilled, um, yeah. We wanted more of like a a forever house. That's what we were looking. A little farmhouse, farmhouse kind of thing. Like garden, acreage, and stuff like that. But so this was definitely this was not, not that what we thought. That, but uh, um, we put an offer on it, and we ended up getting it. We moved in August um, August of. 2016 right? 2016 yeah. and um, we just started the projects we started you know with the mindset of we were gonna flip this place make a little bit of money and put it into our forever house the house we really, really wanted, wanted the yeah. one that I was wanting from this point but I mean after a lot of prayer and stuff we this house kind of just worked out for us. So yeah. we ended up getting it, like she said. And we got it for pretty cheap. It was yeah, in, it was in really it. rough condition. It was not <clears> like <throat> your picturesque, you know, house that you dreamed of being in. It, it needed work. The outside, <laughs> it was two acres, um, but it had a pond on it and it's a stream and a little bridge. And, you know, uh, it was just a diamond in the rough, really. And, um, and we could just... I well, I mainly I could see the potential of it, but I guess I just watch too much HGTV. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm you know I'm, I'm a project girl at heart, DIY girl. But um, I can attest to that. Yeah, but uh, anyway, so we got in and we started doing the projects with the mindset mm -hmm. that we were going to be selling it and getting our forever house. And um, Todd was Todd was working at. Um, the sheriff's department yeah. at that time and um life was just going by and well at the time, time i was the only one working yeah um on purpose we wanted uh amanda to be able yep. to stay home with the boys and uh a cop's salary mm -hmm. in rural uh north carolina is not much but we weren't complaining it's mm -hmm. what we wanted to do mm -hmm. and uh but we were just kind of you know like she was saying just kind of stuck almost and uh uh, and I had my, I cleaned cabins on the side, which is actually very good money. Um, and it was a good supplement, you know, if supplement you could do money. It more. Yeah. And I was cleaning, I mean, three, four a week, something like that. And um, it was decent money to, to help. And um, we tried to take the boys to fun places and stuff like that. But nothing extravagant. No, like, cross country deals, no half a country deals, you know, I mean, just bare minimum. But, um, and Todd was, I would say, you just weren't, you weren't happy. Like, he, he did what he did because he had to do it. You know, he was, and he was providing for our family. But he just was not happy at all. I could tell it was not quite, like, depression. But it was, <laughs> no, it was like depressed. border. Um, you know. and just, we just weren't, uh, we weren't feeling fulfilled. We, I mean, I was... We were both singing on a, a worship team. We were both, I was very involved in, in my church. And, um, you know, we are involved in things. We had friends and we mm -hmm. have family around. What happened? My parents came to visit. Yeah, um, while we were uh, had this house, um, her parents always come up. They had an RV and they'd always come up and park in our yard for the summer while, while we had this dog. house. Yeah, and mooch talk <laughs> off of us, which was great. We loved having them there. Mm -hmm. Well, um, 
<clears throat> and he helped me with the projects too. <laughs> yeah, her dad. Yeah. And uh, and so we're in their RV one day, and um, they had already subscribed to some people that traveled full time in their RV, and they just happened to have one of their videos on, and we're just hanging out, mm -hmm. and we saw it, and it kind of like piqued our interest a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, um, it just kind of started from there. At first, Amanda was like, "Wow, this is really cool," you know. Can you imagine? Yeah. And I'm like, no, I can't imagine. This isn't cool. Don't about even it. think about it. I was like, I was like we can do eh, this. We can eh. do this. No, no, I, I didn't think so. I didn't even want to tr want to do it. It wasn't it. But mm -hmm. uh, and I just, I was like, I just thought it was. I was very intrigued, you know, with the thought, with the prospects of, um, you know, being able to travel and and give our kids a completely different lifestyle. And it is completely. Um, against the normal, the, what people do, it's, um, it's, it's not your norm. And, but I just prayed, we, you know, we believe in the power of prayer and, and I prayed that, okay, I was like, Lord, if you want us to do this, then you're going to have to completely change his heart. And, <laughs> and it wasn't and a week later. I had a 180 and I was like, you know, this, this isn't such a bad idea. We, I think this is something we should pursue. I, I prayed for peace for you to have peace. And he had, he did. He like, oh, 100%. Within a week. yeah, it was just completely flipped. Yeah. And, um, and then, and then <laughs> once he got, I got all excited about it. And she I was like, whoa, 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 wait whoa, a second. <laughs> hold on a minute. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Yeah, so praying through it and just, you know, if this is what we're supposed to do, mm -hmm. we just need some signs, some conf confirmation, you know, and just that we are meant to do it. And um, and one big, really big thing that I was involved, I like I said, I was on the worship team, but I really loved it. I was very, very committed, mm -hmm. and I, I loved what I did, I, you know, I sang, and... Um, I just could not see a way out of that. I couldn't see past that. I couldn't see myself not being involved in that. And that was a huge hurdle in my mind. That And that was part of the reason why I like kind of backed away once he, once he got a piece of that. I was like, wait a second, my yeah. whole world would change. I would, you know, I mean, at that point I was already homeschooling. But, I mean, there was things that, you know, my friends, his, you know, his family lived in North Carolina. So, our world would completely change, you know, and not to mention, like, major downsizing. I mean, that was the least of it in my mind at that point. But, so, um, and again, I just, we prayed together. We were just like, you know what, we'll just give it to God. And if, if it's meant to be, he'll work it out. And so, I was like, Lord... You you know my heart, my love for this. I feel like I'm actually going, like I'm actually being used for something good. Um, and I just, I was like, you're going to have to show us and make it a, yeah, you know, make, make it, it obvious. obvious that, you know, and help us with this. Because I just can't see my myself <laughs> getting around this and this hurdle and um, getting myself detached from it. And... So we, we were, were, yeah, we go were ahead. in uh, Texas um, visiting her parents at this time. Um, at the same time, we was looking for a truck um, to pull uh, a fifth wheel. We knew we was going to want a fifth wheel. Um, and at this point, we were 95% sure this is what we're going to do. Um, so I was looking for a, a one ton, which is actually the truck we got out there. And uh, while we were in Texas, still wondering how... Um, it was going to work out with the church and the worship team, like she was saying. Mm -hmm. We find out that I the whole it. worship team was like just dissolved, yeah. put on hold, and just stopped. And it was just like... It was a shock to me, you know. Because we had just like been... It was probably about a week, maybe a couple of weeks we were praying praying about it. And, and it was just a shock. I get this text saying it was just completely broken up cancel nothing anymore for for time i guess it was like maybe a month and a half something like that so the but biggest real quick, the biggest worry that she or we had god made the easiest thing to take care of yeah we didn't, did it, we didn't we didn't have it. to really do anything you know uh once it got together we were certain uh that we knew what direction we were going mm -hmm. in and so that was very clear um we also we got back and um, we started getting our gears into getting a fifth wheel. 
Because we had already gotten our truck. We were thinking, well, we need to start looking into what rig we wanted. At that time, we were doing lots of research, like oh, everybody yeah. does. And we were just looking Craigslist and different <clears throat> states and everything, and um, nothing seemed to fit just right. Uh, we looked at, not in person, but we looked at a lot of uh, online of Craigslist, mm -hmm. like we said, of different dealers and stuff. And then finally, I found one, I think it was on a Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, I sent it to her, I think it was when I was working, and uh, she I loved, loved it. it. And we called on it, and it was available, and we signed the papers just like on Friday. Mm -hmm. Just, and how smooth that was, it, it was incredible. Yeah, we, uh, we really love like the mid-bunk setup, but everything has been so long, like all of them are so long, and I love kitchen islands. I'm like, if I'm gonna be living in this full time, <laughs> I need a daggum kitchen to cook my meals and you know and I can't have a time like a space this big when I'm cooking for all these boys and it was just my personal requirements I'm somewhat of a messy cook I know my family will attest to that I'm the tornado that goes through and then and then I clean everything up in a you know a nice sweeping you know anyway <laughs> But so I needed a little bit uh, bigger area. So that's that was some of my requirements, and that no, was. Oh, there's a kitchen island. Yeah, and and we are gonna do our our um, tour soon. So there was a couple people that were asking. So come back and hang out for that. <laughs> there was a couple people asking for our tour, so we are gonna do that soon. But um, anyway, so we he sent me this one of is it's a 29 foot. So. And I was like, hey, it's, it's well, shorter. Well, the sticker, it's actually about 35 from bumper to the front. Yeah, so. but on that little, it yeah. says 29. Yeah, we VHS, thought it was shorter so. than it was. But. Yeah, but, and it's got a nice bunkhouse. And I was like, well, let's, it was in Birmingham, Alabama. And we lived in Murphy, North Carolina. It's about four hours from over there. Yeah, so anyway, we, we took a ride out there and got it. Get in your room. Go pee. Okay. Hurry okay. up, buddy. <laughs> it's real life. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to be able to get into the national parks, and we've been hearing under 35 foot is the best. You know, is the easiest. Is the, the, the longer easiest. you are, the harder it is to find a spot. And uh, we definitely wanted to hit the national parks. Yeah. So. And and get in smaller spots if possible. But um, you know, when we looked, we looked around, and um, this seemed to be the best layout for us so mm -hmm. um and and packs the most punch for the you know the getting the the kitchen island in and stuff like that so but um and you'll see that next probably next episode but it's um, one of the one after but very soon yeah anyway uh we got it home and then like todd said in the previous well, episode hold on a second okay um, when we bought it, we had the truck at this point, but we didn't have a hitch. Oh, yeah. And we had scheduled the time to come pick it up, and I didn't have a hitch. And that was a thing <laughs> in of itself. My dad had the hitch, had gotten the Anderson hitch that we really wanted. Yeah, we he really found like one on Craigslist and got it for like half the price, and it was pretty much brand new, but it was in Texas, so it was like, well, I can't like overnight a trailer hitch you know so we were looking all over for a trailer hitch so and um so we were looking all over for a trailer hitch the rv place the local rv place didn't even have one that we could borrow right so and i had uh even called up some shops around um that may know somebody i had called perfect strangers I didn't know to see if they had something that would work with my truck because I don't have a, a fifth wheel hitch prep on my truck all I have is a um, gooseneck ball which is what our Anderson hitch connects to um, and I couldn't find anything until I think it was the day before we're going to pick it up um, we have there's a, a Kia dealership that sells RVs as well it's cars so I was like you know I'm just going to swing in there just to see if they'll let us even rent one and uh, they actually had something that would work, and they just said, just bring it back when you're done. So that yeah. was awesome. I mean, the day before, really we cool. were sweating. Yeah. So. 
Well, we got it back and we're just, you know, glowing because we're so excited that we have our... <laughs> so, and, um, and then the two weeks later, I, uh. I'm like, mm, you know, things, certain things weren't happening. So I, well, I, we bought a two bunk because we had two boys. Yeah. And I took a pregnancy test and uh, indeed I was very pregnant and I just very. put it on, <laughs> I put it on the counter and Todd was like, I was like, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> How about that? So, you know, it, it put a little hiccup in our step for uh, just a, a little, you know, bit, but we were like, oh, and we were like, it wasn't well. the first kid. So yeah. like, well, we're used to having kids. So Where's I guess the only new thing is going to be living in the RV and traveling. So, yeah. And you know, we just had just a piece about RV and that it was what we were supposed to do. We didn't, uh, we didn't know why or, um, the hows and the what's and all of the details of it. We just really felt like it was what we were supposed to be in motion for. So, and, um, well at that time I really started, um, I was, I was work cleaning a lot of cabins and, uh, my back started really acting up and it was, um, I went to the chiropractors and they thought maybe I had a herniated disc and I mean, it, it was so terribly painful and I, I ended up having to quit all my, um, cabin cleanings and, um, it ended up going into sciatica and then, um, right after that, um, I was diagnosed with, um, uh, placenta previa which is when your placenta is over your cervix and it can be a kind of a dangerous um, thing and can cause miscarriages and hemorrhaging and stuff so we had to go on pelvic rest as you might assume what that is you know and so that was fun but so we were going through just a lot of really hard <laughs> what? Pelvic rest. That's what they call it pelvic rest. That's a funny term. <laughs> pelvic rest and you know what that is so or can assume what it is anyway um so uh that was for it ended up um gradually going up and it resolved itself but it took like two, i think three months but forever <laughs> anyway um so and i was like bed bound for probably a good i'd say two months and i mean i had to I'm, I'm not a person that likes to accept help from anybody most of the time and um, just I'm just independent and I really it was a humbling experience for me because I was bed bound like I was trying to do every I mean short of going to the uh, ac for acupuncture I mean let me just tell you this girl's tough and for her to actually stay in bed because of pain um, that's that was saying a lot uh, I mean, she's the toughest person I know. So, um, that actually ended up, it ended up gradually getting better, but it was, I felt like I was in bed for months and it was probably a blessing hindsight because I ended up getting the back pain before I found out that I had uh, placenta previa and it put me in bed. Had I not been in bed, I could have very well have caused a miscarriage. So it was kind of a blessing in disguise, we think that it oh, put definitely. me in bed because I wouldn't have stopped. I, I would have just, you know, worked and kept cleaning cabins and, and that's, that's a very rigorous, you know, I mean, anyway, so through that time I was really struggling with, um, just, are we supposed to do this? Are, is this, I mean, man, maybe these are signs that we're not supposed to do this. Are, is, um, is, am I going to be okay? I don't want to be in bed instead of when we're supposed to be going out hiking or, you know, or moving day yeah. and I'm in bed, you know, I just don't want this to be an issue. And is more, more importantly, like, is this a sign that we're not supposed to do this? You know, when we felt all along and even, <clears throat> Even getting our RV, like just the just the purchasing and everything was so smooth. So I don't know, it just went went through without a hitch. We had been looking for a truck in Texas, and I mean there were tons of trucks well, when we because, were looking. Because we were looking in Texas, we knew we was going to be visiting there. Yeah. And there's a lot more trucks for sale there, so the prices were for trucks were cheaper there than where we lived. Um, 
like we said, it was rural North Carolina. Any place around there that was selling anything, it was marked up real high. Mm -hmm. um, even private seller, which is what we really wanted to do. I mean, it was marked up high. Um, we probably saved probably around $5,000 yeah. just going to Texas and um, looking for one there. And, and I had a number of trucks that I was going to look at that I was talking to people about and um, pretty much lined up to go see when we got there. Well, as it was getting closer for us to get there. Within days of us leaving to go to Texas, all those trucks were gone, and there's only one left. And it's the one mm -hmm. that we got, the one yeah. we ended up getting. That um, we, we really liked. And yeah. Uh, it's a good truck. We didn't have to waste our time with any other ones. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes, that, which was nice. We just went there and was like, okay, well, <laughs> we'll take it. But um, anyway, through like through all the back pain, this placenta previa, this, that was kind of scary. You know, I, I just, it was really testing my faith of, you know, and just made my me question of, okay, is this really what we're supposed to do? And um, I had so much friends and family to, to help me mm -hmm. out. And it was, hum like I said, it was a humbling experience for me because I just don't, it taught me to just, you know, accept it when you need it and give it when, when you can, you know, and, um, and so we got through it and I started getting better. And, but at that time we, we weren't, I mean, we had expected to sell our house. Like it was in, oh, that's it was, thing. yeah, yeah it, we, we thought it was going to sell right when we put it on the market because well, the market was everybody so. Everybody said, oh, because once we finally finished the house, it looked great. It was turnkey. I mean, I mean everything yeah, was done. It was great. And everybody said, oh, you're going to sell it in no time. So we figured, okay. We'll put up for sale in June, sell it, you know, super quick, and then be able to hit the road. Yeah. Well, time kept going on and on and on, and uh, here comes, we're getting into fall, and uh, it's still, I mean, we had a lot of people look at it, so many close calls. Yeah. And, and we uh, were selling it for sale by owner. We wanted to get the most money out of it, and so we, we opted. We put in the hard work. So. Yeah, we, we opted to not go with a real estate agent, and we just put it on the market ourselves. And did all the all the showings and everything mm -hmm. with kids. It was and me pregnant. It was an interesting <laughs> ordeal, let me tell you. But um, you know, and it just wasn't selling, wasn't selling, and it was just in. I mean, we thought it was in perfect condition, you know. And and everybody's like, why isn't that selling? It's per it's like yeah. you can't do anything. We had with realtors that. calling us yeah. up and wanting to you know help us out, but of course they wanted a big a big commission on it. Yeah. So. Um, here it comes fall. Um, Amanda's really wanting to see her family in Texas yeah, for that Christmas. That was my goal. That was my heart's desire was to see, be down with my family for Christmas. And I just kept praying. I'm like, I really want to be down there for Christmas. I really, you know, and then we can head out from there. We can get the rig set up and head out, you know. And so we had all these expectations in, mm -hmm. in our mind of how it should be and how we were expecting it to happen right and it just wasn't happening that way and we just it was a bit discouraging and, yeah, you know it was, was a, like wind well, out of our sails you know when the time was getting closer and closer to to christmas i mean she's thinking you know that's it i mean it's, i know what i done. prayed for but uh there's no way there's no way we could sell the house before christmas because i mean what it takes when, yeah. we, bought, when we bought it it was six weeks yeah and uh for for the closing and all that well kind of, even on thanksgiving you know we just we was just hoping and praying and uh it was the day after thanksgiving i got a call uh somebody drove past it or wanted to see it so i we was away from the house i hurried up went back to the house and i showed it to them they loved it uh they made an offer mm -hmm. um it was a cash deal yeah um they didn't want an inspection on the house they didn't want nothing they saw it they loved it and we had a closing in three weeks yeah and we made it Which is to unheard of. texas <laughs> with you know days to spare before christmas and yeah. uh i mean i mean it was just, just awesome. in the nick of time i mean 
just, I mean, how everything just flowed through. The fact that our house, we had, we ended up doing much better on our house than we ever anticipated. What a blessing. It was a diamond in the rough that, that we got. I mean, we just didn't expect it to do as well right. as, uh, as well as it did. And which was the only thing that enabled us to, to, you know, cause we didn't have a lot of savings, but it, it enabled <laughs> us. How to, about none? Yeah. It enabled <laughs> us to, to go and do this lifestyle and pursue this lifestyle and what, where we feel like we're supposed to be. And that's the thing. <clears throat> if we didn't get this house, which I didn't want, but yeah. we were supposed to get. You see, God knew way back then that we were going to be doing this lifestyle. Okay. Yeah, we didn't. If we would have got the house that we really Forever wanted, um, the little farmhouse, you know, something that would have really tapped us out, we wouldn't have been able to mm -hmm. recoup any money or make a profit like we did that would get us rolling mm -hmm. so and go on the road debt almost debt free i yeah, have my the, student loans uh from college but um i mean everything else we were a, a pretty much able to pay yeah, off paid off that we don't the have house. an rv payment or a truck payment and i mean it's all paid off and uh and and all us rolling. Of that. so yeah. we had zeke and um you put your two weeks well, I was on mature, paternity leave. Paternity. Yeah. I'm a man. It's paternity. <laughs> Which I didn't know that until I actually took it. I'm like, so do I get maternity leave? They're like, no. <laughs> no, you get paternity leave. <laughs> oh, okay. So. Well, we just, and here we are. We're, you know, we've got the, the RV ready and we got to be down in Texas, which was my big thing with my yeah, family. For Christmas. And for Christmas. And uh, I, th I would definitely say that leaving was... Um, such a hard part of it and Very, if yeah. anybody has left for you know moved out of the area or something that that separation is just so hard mm -hmm. you know and and that was probably just the gut-wrenching wrenching part of <laughs> you know the worst part of it and doing it in Texas too you know but um, also um, we started telling our our family I mean few months prior I mean probably was it after we found out we were pregnant with Zeke it was after that that we started telling family that we were going to be doing it that we were going to so. leave because we kind of waited for a while we wanted to make sure that that was really like a hundred percent before we freaked everybody out but um <laughs> you know and it just um we got mixed mixed feelings about it most of them most of the people that you know we did tell and uh just were totally on board we're mm, like very supportive that very supportive they Which love the idea very helpful um and we're just and could definitely see how it was um a calling and how and and the gave and they got peace um and just i mean in some cases it was very odd that they had peace about it you know <laughs> and we thought mm, you know but um it was uncharacteristically <laughs> um you know weird but anyway uh, uh we we shared with them and we got different responses some didn't really say much they were like oh okay you know some were awesome, that's great, we're so excited for you, you know, and, you know, so we got a, a wide range of, of different um, reactions, wouldn't you say? Yeah, most of them I think was positive, though. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't think of a negative reaction that we've had. No, most just kept it to themselves if they didn't really agree with it. But I'm sure they probably thought we were off a rocker, but <laughs> <laughs> so, but... We're not saying we're not. <laughs> But, and here we are, and we just, here um, we, are. we really feel, I mean, we're going to do a video for our three month checkup, um, and just kind of see how we're doing. We'll do a video about what we did to prepare mm -hmm. our rig and all the tools that we used and, um, and how we do it. So, uh, you can look forward to that too. <laughs> but we honestly, we give all the glory to God that, I mean, mm -hmm. he... We didn't see it. We, we didn't see in the beginning how it was at work. Um, and, and it just, I mean, looking back then, if we could see two and a half years down the road, we would 
be dumbfounded, you know. But yeah. another thing I wanted to add in during that time that is a pretty cool detail of how God works in smaller ways of our life and not just the big ones. Um, is we had we always pray about um, what we want to name our our boys, and and we feel like their names are very important to their character and. We were um, praying about it, and we could we kind of thought about uh, Ezekiel, but I I liked the nickname Zeke, but did not like the name Ezekiel that much, and <laughs> and he liked it, but we liked the ne- the meaning of it, which is uh, God is my strength, and which was was particularly meaningful to me through that time because I was just going through such a hard time, yeah. and. Um, and but I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't really like a hundred percent about Ezekiel, but I loved Zeke. It was just kind of, um, you know, unique and anyway. But I was like, Lord, if that's what you want, just change my heart about it. And like slowly but surely, I just like one day came along and I just saw that name and I was like, I like that name, you know. And my heart was completely switched and and um. So, and that was the first thing. But the second thing, we were kind of like, it was more of a possibility to name him that. So we told his mom Mm -hmm. and his grandma had passed recently at that time. His mom said, that is so funny because your grandma, um, when, when I told her that you were going to have three boys, a third boy, she said, that's so funny. They'll have A to Z, A to Zeke. And it was just so strange. Grandma didn't know anything about that. No, the name. she had no idea. So for her to say A to Zeke was like totally just, it blew my mind, really. But the thing that was even more mind blowing was that, and this is, that's how God works in, in a, the little things in our life. He has in you know? our life. Yes, yeah. he has in our life. And, um, uh, oh, we were, you were going camping with your best buddy, and we went to, to look out at, a couple spots because I was almost. Well, she was yeah, she was what eight months, eight and a half months pregnant, and uh, uh, my best friend Jason was fixing to come and hang out for a night, and we always go camping somewhere, and uh, so we was checking out some places locally close to the house because normally me and him we go off, you know, it's an hour and a half away, and there's no cell signal. But uh, her being so close to popping, we decided, well, we'll keep it close to home. So we were scouting out some areas around the house. And I, you know, took Amanda and the boys with us and thought we'd make a day of it. And, mm-hmm. and there's this one area, actually had a little uh, picnic table there, and it was a, a, an actual campsite. I was having contractions. <laughs> and so she's sitting on the table, and the boys are running around. And uh, I'm just kind of walking around and I look at the table and like carved deeply into this table. Behind me. You came up to me and it was like, be- you look behind me. Yeah. It and was- it said Zeke, like carved into the table. Uh, Wasn't it the only name? Was yeah, that was the only name carved in the and table. And we were just, it? we just looked at each other and we were like, oh. <laughs> and Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I mean, it was more, the, we had been asking for more confirmation that that was the name that he wanted. And sure enough, we we're like, okay, you know, A to Zeke, A to Zeke, you know, <laughs> Zeke it'll be. <laughs> so, um, and that was that, but... So he, he's definitely been, uh, you know, working in our lives, and we just give all the credit, and, and we're yeah, loving Without him, we, we wouldn't be here, yeah. and uh, we, we know he wants us here. Um, Not sure 100% of the, the plan, but yeah. we're just happy. We're taking, yeah, day at a time. Yeah, and and I think the important thing is is that um, your children, you know, and... Um, your children are a ministry too, and and they're, it's so important to invest in, in our children. We feel that, that it's yeah. important to invest in our children. And if that means, you know, going against the grain of society and, um, and totally doing something that's a little <laughs> different and uh looked at it kind of weird that's fine with us you know we we got some eyebrows <laughs> and we're if if we <laughs> we're only going to do this after the positive things that people thought about us doing it we would not be here and i think we've got like, more iffy responses like from people that we've met on the road yeah like say we're yeah. just talking to some random joe um oh where are you from we'll say where we're from and you know we, we're traveling full-time with our kids are like oh 
Don't, That's nice. Don't call CPS on us. <laughs> 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 <Right>. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. We we love it, and they love it, and yeah. um, we just feel so so Everybody. blessed. Um, don't get on the couch. To no, be no, able no, no, to no. share, we hope that that um, you know you can right. feel. Like you can comment and leave a comment about yeah, let us your know if story. Have any questions or, um, or any, anything? If or... we can um, encourage you in your journey, or if you have okay. questions about <laughs> about anything, <laughs> 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 but leave a comment. We we want to hear from from you guys and yeah, we want to interact with everybody. Yeah, but um, I think that's. That's pretty much it, right? Huh? I think so. We don't have a lot planned out. We've just yeah, been kind of we going really don't with plan. the flow of things. The only thing we know right now is we're wanting to see the Grand Canyon. It's too when cold it right now. So we got to kind of bide our time and hang out in the sweet warm spots right now <laughs> until it warms up. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what we're doing. Yeah. So again, leave a comment and um, like Subscribe. this. Subscribe. <laughs> like the video. Ding the bell. Um, and follow along with our journey. Um, it's it's our journey. It's our story, and we hope you liked it. Um, and what, what is that? It's the lens to the camera, buddy. It keeps the lens from getting scratched up. But we're just gonna leave that over there. We'll uh, 